Hey parents, I'm Bill Dwight, founder and chief dad at FamZoo.com. I'm going to show you how to set up your own virtual family bank on FamZoo. Your FamZoo bank will help you teach your kids good personal finance habits through regular hands-on practice. It's also a great way to introduce your kids to charitable giving. Setting up your family bank is easy and only takes a couple of minutes. Let me show you. So here we are on the FamZoo.com homepage, and I'm going to show you the three basic steps for getting started with your own virtual family bank. So let's get started with step one, registering your family. Just find one of our Try FamZoo buttons and click on that. That will bring you right to our registration page where the first step is to pick a family sign-in name to uniquely identify your family. Usually a variation on your last name, but something else if that's taken. Fill in a parent sign-in name to identify you as a registering parent. Pick a password. Supply an email if you're the registering parent. For other family members, that's optional. You can supply a mobile phone if you want to access FamZoo on the go while you're with your phone. Tell us your time zone so we can send things like alerts and so forth at the right time. Everybody gets a two-month free trial, but if you have a special coupon code for additional free months, enter it there. If you'd like to review our privacy policy and our terms of use, go ahead and do so. Click Agree, and click the Try Now button, and you're in. Now the first thing you'll see when you enter FamZoo is the Overview page. You'll see a set of tabs across the top here to navigate to other major sections inside FamZoo. On the right sidebar, you'll see a summary of your family, and I only have one member so far. Now, on the overview page, you'll see a set of sections that summarize your account balances, any activity in those accounts, checklists maybe for chores or to-dos or anything, savings goals, and any allowances. Now, in this case, I'll see a blue bubble that's guiding me towards the next step, which is to add a child to the family. So let's click here and add a child. This brings me to the Add a New Family Member form with Child Selected. I can choose a sign-in name for my child and an initial password, which they can always change later. And email address and mobile phone are optional, as is birth date, but I might want to choose that just so I can have an allowance that's automatically updated based on their age, but that's optional. And I click Add Member. This brings us to our third and final step of getting started, which is to set up the bank for this child. So I'm going to click here to go to our bank setup wizard. Now FamZoo is very flexible and you can create any number or configuration of accounts and allowances that you like for your child. But we've created this bank setup wizard to make things super easy to get started. So we have a set of common configurations that are listed down here on the left hand side that could get progressively more sophisticated. And for each plan or configuration, there's a description in the blue bubble. If you entered an age for your child, you might see a lighter blue bubble here with a suggested plan. And as you move down to pick different plans, the description will update, as will a diagram that shows exactly what will be created when you hit the Save button. And you can edit the settings directly on this diagram. So in this case, we're going to pick one of the more popular plans, which is the Spend, Save, Give plan, which down here we'll see is an allowance and notice that we can change the name of the allowance if we like or the formula for the allowance and we can change how often it's delivered we might want to change how it's split between three different accounts so in this case maybe I'll change it from 80 10 10 to 60 20 20 say and then down here we see the accounts and the account names uh, starting balance perhaps if you're rolling over for maybe a piggy bank or something like that. And on a savings account, if you want to encourage savings, you might choose to give an interest rate on that. And you can use our interest rate calculator to see what you might be in for. And once you're sort of happy with everything, then you can just go ahead and hit the Save button, and all the allowances and accounts will be created for you. So back here on the overview page, we can see that the accounts and allowances have been created. We can see that uh, allowances are scheduled to be delivered coming soon and you're pretty much set to go and if you ever want to edit anything just go right up to the bank tab and go ahead and pick the uh, item that you want to edit and go ahead and update it if you have any questions whatsoever just don't hesitate to contact us have fun